Hi, my name is Abigail Swanson, and I will be doing my educational giant report on pa Paulo Freire. Um, Paulo Freire was born September 19th, 1921, and he grew up in the northeast of Brazil. Um, he was married at 23 in 1944 to a girl named Elsa Maia Costa de Oliveira. Um, he was appointed director of education at SESI, an institution that helps workers to helps workers and families. Um, it was while he was working here that he first started seeing the gap between the educational system that was being provided and the real life fam the real life experiences and lives that these people were living. And this is kind of what started his inspiration on um, on wanting to to change the educational system. Around the same time, he began to become very involved in uh, in pushing for democracy and um, learning and teaching about democracy. And because of this, he was uh, he was labeled as a traitor in his country. Um, in 1942, he started some experiments that resulted in 300 far farmers learning how to read in 45 days. Uh, these experiments started to spread because they were so successful, but just two years later, in 1944, they were shut down by, the, by a military coup. Um, and pa Paulo, Paulo was taken... Um, and put in jail for 70 days and then exiled for 15 years. While in exile, um, Paulo did not stop his um, educational work. He wrote two books, the first one being um, Education as the Practice of Freedom, and the second one, which is his most popular work, is Pedag Pedagogy of the Oppressed, which he wrote in 1968. Um, he, During the time he was ex exiled, he also did some work in Chile with the Christian Democratic Ar Grand Founda Reform Movement and in Geneva as a special education um, advisor in the World, uh, World Congress of Churches. Um, because of his work, he became a visiting professor at Harvard and um, and was able to influence people there as well. He was finally able to return to Brazil in 1980. Um, he was then appointed Minister of Education for the city of Sao Paulo in 1988. Um, in 1986, his wife Elza died, and he was remarried to another radical educational leader named Ana Maria Argu. Arguello. Um, he, in his lifetime, he was recognized with many awards, such as um, the King Baldian Prize for International Development in, and the Prize for Outstanding Christian Educators in 1985, and the UNESCO Prize for Education for Peace in 1986. He later died of heart failure on May 2nd, 1997. Um, his theories are very, very influential still today. Some of the things he believed in were that students should um, be equals with the teacher. He believed that the teacher should not be someone who's just, just filling the student's mind with knowledge. Um, the teacher should not be a superior being, but um, the student should be the teacher should be right there learning along with the student and um, learning just as much from the student as the student learns from the teacher. Um, he believed that the teacher should teach the, teach the student with love and respect and um, that the classroom should be a more democratic, um, democratically run instead of a monarch. Um, he believed that students should be, should be able to taught, should be taught to think creatively and critically. He said that the world around them um, was, they should be um, 
subjects of the world around them and able to learn about the world around them and stuff and not just objects in it. Um, and by thinking creatively, he believed that that they'd be able to come up with better ideas and um, make the world a better place. Um, he also believed that students should not see themselves as higher or lower than other students because of their economic status. He thought that students should be taught that they all have the same potential to succeed and learn as the other students. Um, he hated the bake the banking um, approach to learning. This is the idea that students are just kind of empty, empty containers that the teacher just fills with knowledge. Um, he thought that students should be able to learn from the, for themselves and base their learning off of what they already know and understand. Um, in this world today, we're beginning to go a lot more towards the ideas that um, Paulo had. In his time, there were very, very, um, very new ideas, and as you heard earlier, he be, he got called a traitor for a lot of them. But his ideas today are what we kind of see as the ideal of education, a classroom where the students are respected and able to learn from the, for themselves and, um, and, and be able to think critically. Um, as a teacher, I would like to implement many of these policies. I'd like my students to feel respected and loved and to leave my classroom knowing how to think for themselves and not just be a container full of knowledge that I shoved down their throats. Um, Paulo really was very influential and definitely a educational giant.